Hi Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of May 1st through the 7th. This is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and Pisces Rising Signs. Pisces. So at the bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Swords. Very interesting spread, Pisces. All right. So with the Two of Swords, there certainly could be a decision that's quite significant. Maybe you have to make a decision, Pisces. There could be some other Pisces that maybe you're waiting on a decision, but a decision could be very, very significant. Now for some of you, um, you might need to make a decision, but this could be you actually... With this energy here, with the two and the three of swords here in this spread, for some of you, you could be blocking yourself or closing yourself off, um, not wanting to make a decision for whatever reasons. Uh, sometimes the three of swords can be someone who's torn or dealing with some sort of difficulties. Um, I think that some of you might possibly need to make a decision, but you could be putting this off or... For some of you, you're dealing with some, maybe some, some frustrating energies here. Uh, the overall energy for the week, Pisces, is, is actually the Queen of Swords. So you're coming through a little bit more serious with, with the, the Swords energy here. So very much in your mind. So take caution with that. Of course, you know, this is that more logical energy here. Really planning, thinking about maybe the future. Uh, for some of you, it could be strategizing. You might be in a difficult situation. There could be some of you that you're in a difficult situation involving three people. Uh, this could be on the love front, but not necessarily. There certainly could be some Pisces that you're, you're involved in maybe a difficult or challenging situation involving three people. Uh, maybe you need to make a decision or someone that is in this partnership might need to make a decision uh, because there is this kind of element of of you having to wait here with the three of swords and the four of pentacles i think that some of you are holding out you're waiting on maybe this third person or you're waiting on this decision there's something that you want with the four of pentacles uh this is for some of you you hanging on tight here and then for some other pisces this could definitely be on the financial front maybe craving more financial stability. This could be where your focus is at with the Queen of Swords looking back at this Four of Pentacles here. Um, for some of you, maybe you were promised a job. You were promised something perhaps. Um, something that's going to add to your financial stability. And for some of you, maybe you're dealing with some difficulties around that. You could possibly could be waiting on news or communication because we have the Page of Cups underneath the Ten of, uh, or excuse me, underneath the Four of Pentacles next to the Ten of Wands. I think that some of you are waiting on some really positive news to come through, some information, some communication to come through in regards to this situation. So for some of you, this is on the, the romantic front. You're maybe dealing with a love triangle. And then for some other Pisces, this is more financial. And whatever this is, it's weighing on you with the Ten of Wands. But the good news is, is this is just a temporary energy. Tens represent cycles that are completing, and you actually have a couple of tens here in this spread. So this is just a temporary energy. But for some of you, you're carrying this heavy load. This is a burden. Um, whatever this is for you, it's a burden. You're carrying this heavy load. You're not about to quit, though. You're not, you're not going to drop this load. You're... You're carrying it and you're moving forward uh, and you're waiting on this really positive news to come through. And, you know, what I see here, Pisces, is it's on its way. It's coming, but um, things are just happening at a much slower pace for some of you. And if you don't resonate with this reading, please watch your other signs because I'm definitely speaking to a select number of Pisceans. With this Knight of Pentacles here... He's actually moving towards this exciting news, this communication. 
for some of you this new beginning that maybe is going to be rewarding on a financial level. Um, when his energy is at play, things, you know, things uh, take time. He's a forward moving energy, um, but he's a, a slower forward moving energy. So for some of you, something is progressing very slowly, but you are moving towards that communication that I think some of you have been waiting on. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords here, this is this is great energy to work with. You are coming through very grounded, practical, um, but both of these people, both of these characters really like to plan. So I see a lot of you, you know, planning for the future. There could be some Pisces that you are moving forward at a pace that you're comfortable with. Uh, for some of you, maybe this is that, you know, love triangle, a uh, difficult situation. So you could be moving forward at a pace that you're comfortable with. For some of you. Uh, what's interesting is on top of this Knight of Pentacles, I have the Queen of Pentacles. So there definitely could be an Earth sign individual that's quite significant. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And, you know, for some of you, this could, this could be potentially maybe the person you're moving towards getting into a relationship with, if this is a love triangle, or this could be the third person. But I do have the Queen of Pentacles sitting here with the Fool. And the Fool is you walking out on a new path, but it will require some sort of risk or leap of faith. So for some of you, with this energy here, um, you honestly, you could, be, you could be a little nervous to move forward. A decision is needed, but there could be some Pisces that you're not ready to make that decision. You're, you're definitely coming through a little bit more cautious. With the Knight of Pentacles, he likes to plan out the steps before taking them. So for some of you, you are actually walking down this new path, but you're actually moving forward very cautiously. Uh, if this is a love triangle with the energy of the Queen of Swords, to be honest, uh, for some of you, you could be cutting someone off or you could be freeing yourself from a relationship that's no longer serving you and then maybe moving uh, down a new path here. And it definitely could be a little bit of a risk because I do see I do see a relationship here for some of you. This is a relationship that's that's very significant. Uh, I do have the Ten of Pentacles underneath the Fool, so this is another ten, and tens represent cycles that are completing. So for some of you, uh, this is a cycle that's completing. And I really see the Ten of Pentacles. It does represent family for me, and obviously abundance security, stability, uh, it can represent other things as well, assets, real estate, but also, you know, in regards to relationship, I always see um, this particular 10 of pentacles as two people coming together that really can build an empire together. They have a lot to offer one another. Two very stable individuals coming together. So for some of you, this is you uh, moving towards getting into a relationship with someone who is very stable, could definitely be an earth sign or someone who has earth in their chart. If not an earth sign, someone who comes off as an earth sign. Maybe someone who owns a business. Uh, someone who's very, very grounded. Um, but potentially, some of you are moving towards getting into a relationship with this person. But this could just be developing very slowly. For other uh, Pisceans... This could be you actually maybe starting your own business. It is a risk for some of you. You know, maybe you've been hanging on to a job uh, that's no longer serving you. This is a difficult situation that you're in. With the Ten of Wands here, you have a lot on your plate. There certainly could be some Pisces that, you know, you're overworked and underpaid. It could be something like that. With the Knight of Pentacles here, this could be a financial opportunity that's coming to you, um, and you really have to take that risk or that leap of faith when accepting this uh, and choosing to move forward in a new direction. So for some of you, this is definitely more financial, and then for some other Pisceans, this is more on the love front. Um, but change is coming. Change is coming. It, it really is. And you have two tens here. Uh, this is definitely a cycle that's completing um, with, the, with the Knight of Pentacles here. Some of you are moving towards that news, that communication that maybe you're waiting on. And then for some other Pisceans, this could definitely be some sort of financial offer that's coming in. 
And with the Ten of Pentacles here, I mean, this for some of you, this is a very good offer, a very good offer. Um, you know, potentially this is a job that is a well-paying job. It can bring in a lot of abundance for you and your family, but there is a risk that's attached here. Um, but overall, you know, these are some very positive energies to work with. Uh, I just see some of you coming through a little bit more serious, definitely in the mind, um, this is more that logical energy, definitely very focused on the future and making plans for the future. But let me pull you an additional guidance card, Pisces, additional guidance for Pisces for this upcoming week. Pisces, additional guidance for Pisces. There we go. We have Francesca. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. There you go. So you need to remain positive. Continue on making those plans. And, and yes, move forward at a pace that you're comfortable with. But still move forward. Because whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you desire, Pisces, it can be yours. Okay, so financially and emotionally, I think it's going to be a good week. Uh, just try to stay out of your mind. Try to stay positive. Okay, so Pisces, I do hope that you found this reading helpful. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.